Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to design this add new item user control and how to backend code for this and how to create the database and which query you have to fire to create a table. So if you have not watched my previous video, just go to the description there. I put the link for my previous video or simply you can do one thing. Just click on the solution on the right side of the screen. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this user control that is place order and how to design each of these stuff in detail okay so let's start with that first i'm going to close this application and move back to our project on which we are working we are working on CAF management video so i'm going to open that and here we go first thing what we have to do is we have to let me just close these stuff for now because we don't need these right now so i'm closing these all okay so let me close this okay so first thing what I need is we have to actually add one user control. So for that just right click on this all user control and click on add and select new item. After this click on user control and after this you have to set a name for this. I'm going to set this one UC underscore place order and hit enter user control will be added after this what we have to do is we have to actually copy the size of this user control from our previous user control that is nothing but add item so just click on the empty space and just go to properties copy the size 781 comma 514 right click go to properties set the size hit enter I'm going to make this one maximize and after this what we have to do is we have to actually set the color for this one back color I'm going to change the, that one to white so back color click on this and select this custom click on white and here you can see this after this what I have to do is first I'm going to set um, con actually connect this one with the dashboard so let me do that so right click on this go to properties and there first thing we have to do is we have to actually change one property that is change the font so I have clicked on this okay change this one to 11 and hit okay okay sorry move back I have pressed the CTLZ key to revert it okay first thing what I have to do is I have to add one Guna to ellipse so just drag and drop it over here right click and go to properties and there we have to set the border radius to 30 after this set, change this target control to UC place order save it after this what we have to do is just copy this that is guna to ellipse 1 and move back to dashboard and paste it over here this one and select the target control to panel 2 and then save it after this we have to just start this one and we have to just stop this and you will find that we have this uc place order over here so we have to just drag this and place this on the proper position so we have to do that like this okay so now this is placed on the proper position what we have to do next is we have to just connect this one with place order so just double click on this and here we move to the PTN place order click event and here what I want is uc underscore place order dot visible is equal to true and uc place order dot bring to front I want this for first okay and first thing what I want is when this form load I want to hide this user control so you must be worried that from where this UC place order one comes from so in the dashboard when you add this item by dragging this from the toolbox you will find that the name is UC place order one so we are coding on that after this when this form loads I want to hide that for that we have to just move back over here uc underscore place order dot visible is equal to false now start this and let's see if that works or not so my username is bdk days and password is pass and just click on this yeah this one is working fine okay so one thing you must be worried about that in our complete project when i clicked on this this one comes in a fancy way I want that how to do that okay so let me show you how to do that okay for that we have to actually add one 
toolbox one item from the toolbox so i'm going to add that we have to use guna to transition here you can see this this one just drag and drop it over here and here what you have to do is you have to just save this one and move back to the coding part with this place order button just double click on this and you are here first thing what i want is when we click on that place order i want to send the user control that is welcome user control to the back you see welcome dot send to back after this what i want is to how this actually works with this you can set the transition animation type you can set it over here so you can set anything whatever you want horizontal slide vertical slide and let me show you how this works you have to just drag this from the toolbox paste it over here change the animation type whatever you feel like and after that you have to mention one line on which button you have to work with that so that name of that guna2 transition is guna2 transition1 and here you have to just mention dot show shing and which user control you want to sync with this transition you have to just name that user control name so my user control name is qc place order i want to sync that just save this and let's start and see what happens click on this here you can see this it slides over that welcome page okay this one is looking nice and this will be much more clear when we design stuff over this so i'm going to design the stuff first okay so let me move back over here on this one this is the user control on which we are working so let me start designing with this first what we need is we need one label for that so i'm going to drag one label actually yeah so i'm going to drag one label just drag this and drop it over here i'm going to set the name for this one to place order and after this i need one more label for category to set the category so just change this one to after this i need a combo box so i'm going to use this guna2 combo box drag and drop it over here and after this i need one text box for that just search for text box do not do text box and drag and drop it over here just like this and make this one small and after this i need one list view list view here we have this just drag and drop it over here and what we have to do is let me copy the size of this list view from our complete project so move back to our complete project okay so we are working on this one list box so let me copy the size 143 comma 310 copy this okay sorry we have to actually use this list box not this list view let me delete this list box and drag and drop it over here okay just drag this right click go to properties and set the size 143 comma 310 and hit enter yeah just come in the picture and this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to actually set the size of these text boxes too so let me do that select these all text boxes and move back over here in the complete project and let me copy the size for these text boxes and combo boxes so the size is 143 comma 36 so let me copy that yeah and this text box is a little bit small okay after this what we have to do is we have to actually add few more stuff let me move this one a little bit lower side okay i have to set this label font for now so let me do that from here so which font i have used in this one i let me show you color code is 0 comma 118 comma 221 and comic sans ms italic and size is 18 okay so let me do that click on this go to properties select for font 
Comic Sans MS. Here it is. Italic and size is 12. And it's okay. Oh, sorry, I missed the size, I guess. Size is 18. Right. Yeah, it's 18. Just select that. Or you can select 20 if you want much bigger. But this one is looking odd, so I'm going to select 18 for now. Hit OK. And after this, what we have to do is we have to change the four colors. The color code is 0, 118, 225, and hit enter. And now here you can see this. This one is looking better. And we have to set the font for this one too. So I'm going to set the same font. For the font is Comic Sans, right? Comic Sans MS, italic, and size will be 11. Yeah, okay. This one is looking better. After this, in the complete widget, you can observe we have only underlined sign with the help uh, within this when the underline so let me do that just click on this like both by pressing the serial key and after that what you have to do is you have to search for style and change this from default to material and when you do that you can observe the box from three side is now removed after this what we have to do is we have to add items into this combo box so let me do that for that i'm going to use this one and this we have already added the items so click on this click on items in previous video i have already shown you and please subscribe my youtube channel if you are a new user or you haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet this will help us grow and follow us on instagram too so click on this items and just add the item you can add multiple items whatever you want so for now i'm going to add these two after this what we have to do is we have to set the placeholder text for this one so click on this and select this and we have to write so hit enter and then you can observe the size of this one is quite small so for that click on this click on this one and select the size 11 and hit ok yeah the size is quite large and here you can see this we have to set the size from this one so let me copy the size of this one click on this change the size to yeah sometimes it happens actually after this click on this and we have to set the size for this one too and change this one to 11 and next thing what we have to do is we have to actually change the color for this one so right click and go to purpose and change the fog color just click on this and select black and the same way you have to do for this one too change this fill color sorry four color to black and after this change the text for these two text boxes in the center text line here you can observe this one is left so change this one to center here you can see this now search is in the center of this text box after this what we have to do is we have to add few more items inside this side first thing what we have to do is we have to add one label just copy and paste it i need actually four so paste paste and one more so let me set the text for these labels for now item name the second one this one is price and this one is quantity and this one is total after this we have to add few text boxes so search for text box do not do text box just drag and drop it over here like this and we have to add three and here we have to one is more stuff that is nothing but that is guna numeric up down guna two numeric up down just drag and drop it over here and we have to add this one okay Here you can see this this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to remove the border for these text boxes by press the serial key and move back over here and first thing change the fog color to black and after this change the font color sorry font to 11 and hit ok that the size is quite large so i'm going to copy the size of this one 200 comma 36 just click on this 
simply said change the size for this one too place this one too and change the size yeah this one is looking better after this what we have to do is we have to add one button for now so button I'm going to use this guna2 button just drag and drop it over here and let me change the text for this one first so text will be add to cart and after this what we have to do is we have to actually increase the font for this one and change the fill color as well so 0 comma 118 comma 225 yeah after this what we have to do is we have to change the font of this one so change this one to 12 and bold as well so here you can see this one is looking better but Decrease once okay, not bold. I'm going to set this one. Yeah, this one is looking better. And after this, what we have to do is we have to set one more stuff that is border radius. Here you can see this. Change this one to 15, or if you like, you can increase this by 21. Yeah, this one is looking better. After this, what we have to do is we have to actually change few more properties of this button. So let me do that. First, check the state, change this one to fill color will be nothing but white, and the for color that is a text color will be 0, 118, 225. After this, we have to change one more stuff that is button mode. Click on this, change this one to toggle button, and save this. After this, what we have to do is we have to add one more stuff that is nothing but this one. This is a rectangular shape or let me copy the size of this one size 581 comma 213 so i'm going to move back over here drag rectangular shape over here copy this go to properties of this rectangular shape size and after this let me copy the location of this one too Click on this and location 150, 185, comma 43. So go back over here, location, paste it and hit enter. Yeah. And these all stuff are out of box actually. So let me do that. Make these all in. Yeah. After this, what we have to do is we have to actually make this rectangular shape look better. So how to do that for that let me just increase this border width change this one to 3 after this change the fill color to 0 comma 118 comma 225 sorry not this one okay so we have to change this one border color actually yeah here you can see this after this what we have to do is we have to set the coordinate radius to i'm going to set this on 30 yeah this one is looking better and i'm going to increase the size of these all a little bit so that these look nice yeah. and let me move all of these stuff a little bit on the left side okay after this what we have to do is we have to actually remove the border from the three sides for that I've already shown you how to do that for that you have to search for style and change this one from default to material and here you will observe we have now removed the border from the three side of these text boxes yeah this one is looking better you can also change the text actually color of this one up and down so let me do that change this one to 0 comma 118 comma 225 Okay, sorry, I have added dot actually. That's why it's showing an error. 0, 118, 225. Yeah, this one is looking better than before. After this, what we have to do is we have to add one data grid view. For that, I'm going to search for data grid view and I'm going to use this Kuna 2 data grid view. Just drag and drop it over here. Just stretch this one like this. And after this, what we have to do is we have to change one more property of this one data grid view. To change the properties, that is first thing, change the border style. Change this one to none from fixed 3D. 
and after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to change one property one more property of this one that is column height actually let me search for that column header height here you can see this I'm going to change this one to 21 and hit enter okay so I can't change this because I haven't added any column yet so I'm going to add one column add column click on this and I'm going to name this one header text I'm not going to change the design name for now and I'm going to name this one item name and click on add and here you can see this we have added successfully column 2 I want this one unit price click on add column 3 I want quantity add and finally we want column 4 that is nothing but price and click on add yeah and close this here you can see this now everything is added and you can also observe that now the column header height is changed what is this header height if you want to increase this height then you can do that with here you can observe that when I write 35 and hit enter yeah you can't change that 15 when I this 15 this one yeah let me decrease that 15 yeah why this is not working okay so this one is auto size the size is set auto size that's why it's doing problem we have to actually change this one to enable resizing then you can change this property okay so here you can observe when I write 35 yeah if it's a change when you change this one to 21 yeah this looks better you, you can adjust this according to your need after this what I have to do is I have to add few more labels over here so I need two buttons I'm going to copy this and paste it two times copy and paste one over here and one more over here and let me change the text for these two buttons as well so for this one I'm going to change this one to remove and this one to print okay so these are quite large font that's why I'm going to change the font for this one click on this regular and select 11 and hit ok uh, this one is actually I guess the font is not changed so let me do that regular okay so this one is comic sans I guess yeah regular and sizes 11 and hit ok okay this one is not looking that much nice so I'm going to change this one to Calibri okay click on this Calibri this one regular size is 12 okay not this one this one is also looking very bad okay so let me copy the size from complete project so click on this click on this and the size is actually regular 11 okay so we have to set that say go UI regular and size is 11 yeah this one is looking better okay so we have to do this the same for this one too regular search for that click the size 11 and hit ok okay so now this one is looking better after this what we have to do is let me decrease the size of these two buttons little bit so that these look nice yeah after this we need one more label so let me do that copy this label over here and paste it over here and I need one more label so I will tell you why I need one more label so click on this for now change the text for this one grand total Hit enter and change this one to rs.00 and after this what we have to do is we have to change few properties of this label so that this label actually look like this one okay this is actually a label after this first thing what we have to do is we have to actually change one properties that is auto size change this one to false and after this we have to change the text alignment from top left to center after this we have to change the fill color search for that fill color where it is 
for back color change this one to custom and like this yeah here you can observe now you can increase it like this so that it will look nice yeah like this yeah let me increase this after this what we have to do is we have to increase the font size of this one okay so click on this and i'm going to increase that to 14 or more if you want 16 okay yeah this one is looking better and now let me start this and let's see how this actually look like we take days and password is passed login click on this and here you can see this now you can see the difference how fast the slides you can also change the slide time and also change the animation let me do that so click on this and i'm going to max animation time increase this one to 3000 hit enter change this one from horizontal slide to scale and rotate and click on start actually let me set hard-coded password for these ones so that i don't have to enter password each time so let me do that you move back to form one click on this click on this and i have to set the text so take days and this one is pass okay now let me close this yes now start this and when you start this you will find that we already have the password username over here just click on login when i click on this yeah you can observe this one is looking better okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to back and code for this and here you can observe that the designing part is done till over here and you can change the animation as per your requirement so that's it for this video guys i hope you like and enjoy please subscribe and hit the bell icon and share with your friends and please contact us on instagram thanks for watching